And our third main topic today gets submitted to us by John Grayson, who writes, I just heard that Ava DuVernay's New God film has been shelved, along with Aquaman spinoff The Trench. I'm a little let down by this, as I was excited for both films, but The Hollywood Reporter also reports that the long-awaited Green Lantern Corps film is expected during WB's 2022-2023 release slate. I'd love to know your thoughts. Thanks. All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yes, um, there are two films that DC had on their slate that I always openly wondered, I don't know that this is even going to get made. And I said that about Ava DuVernay's New Gods from the beginning. Now, you got to be excited that you had a filmmaker of the caliber of Ava DuVernay doing a DC film, but I always felt like New Gods, I, I just don't see it happening. And then when they announced The Trench, I mean, it's like, okay, cool, but do we really need a full movie about those monsters we saw in a 10-minute scene in the first Aquaman? Do we need a whole movie about that? Is, that? is that what really people are excited about? And obviously some people were, but I don't know that a large chunk of the audience was going to be or were. And anyways, it turns out it's now official. They have dropped those films. This comes to us from, the, from uh, Warner Brothers who put out an official statement that said the following. As a part of our DC slate, some legacy development titles, including New Gods and The Trench, will not be moving forward. We thank our partners, Ava DuVernay, Tom King, James Wan, and Peter Safran for their time and collaboration during this process and look forward to our continued partnership with them on other DC stories. I think that's significant. We'll talk about that in a second. The projects will remain in their skillful hands if they were to move forward in the future. So, okay, a couple of really interesting things there in this statement. Number one, let's talk about that last thing, that this is not DC saying, oh, we want to take you know, uh, them off of the trench. This is not saying we want to take Ava DuVernay off New Gods. They're saying, look, if we ever do come back around to these things, James will be back, Ava will be back, we'll just do it with them if we ever decide to do this again in the future. So that's interesting. The other interesting part about this that I want a little bit draw a little bit of attention to on this point is they say that we look forward to working with them on other DC stories. Now, to me, this sounds good because I've always liked for both the talent they said they had attached to the trench and obviously the talent they've had attached to New Gods. We're just talking about Ava DuVernay. I thought, hey, listen, it's always great to see great storytellers telling these stories we want to see. Uh, but I'm not going to lie to you. I am far more interested in seeing Ava DuVernay take on something else in the DC universe than I was with New Gods. I just don't think New Gods is going to would is something in property and me and Robert debated this, but I don't think New Gods is a property that would connect with a lot of the average movie going audience. Mm -hmm. I, I just don't think it would. But then again, maybe they could pull it out. And having Ava DuVernay attached is great, but I think this is good news. I think it allows them to focus more on what they know is working. They can reassess their their resources. So I am not terribly broken up about this i was never super excited to see new gods mm -hmm. i was never super excited to see the trench there are other dc properties i am super excited about so and uh, the fact that they're not just saying we're out of the Aver duvernay business is good well so no we'll they're where they go they're very much in the Aver duvernay business because she is doing uh naomi for yes. cw yes in which i actually i i had to sign an nda so i'm going to be i'm going to speak slowly to make sure that i do not say anything that i might be I was uh, Ava, du Ava DuVernay's casting director, Aisha Cooley, who has who cast me in Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins, many, many years ago, has been wonderful to me in that she's given me the opportunity to work with Ava on Wrinkle in Time, doing like off-camera things, and, um, and that's when I got to meet the incredible Ava DuVernay, and also uh, helping with auditions, like being a reader and things like that. And there was a, uh, there was a role that had not yet been cast in Naomi that they, that I was not right for, but that a Aisha asked me if I could jump on the zoom read for, they were having a t the table read. And so I was, they sent me the script of Naomi to read and I'm very excited about it. It's, um, it's, fantastic uh and i'm really excited to see the finished product they have a great cast that they've assembled and so when naomi comes out on the cw even though i am not the target demographic for a cw i admit i still enjoy their shows and i'm excited to see that uh ava duvernay is still in the not only in the dc world but that she has a dc property coming out 
you know, and so that it's not necessarily a commentary on uh, on on the directors per se as much as it is the actual products themselves. Right, because obviously they love working with James Wan. Obviously, of course, they want to stay in the Ava DuVernay business. Especially, yes. I keep forget what was the name of the Netflix series. Uh, the um, the one they just won, won a whole bunch of awards. Uh, the series she did, and I'm freezing on it now. The actual name of it. So, and, uh, you know what? Sorry, now I got to go look it up. Sorry, We're, I'm going to waste time here. Uh, Queen of the South. That's not Netflix. No. Um, which one? Do you say Queen of the South? No, no, no. Uh, uh, and I'm forgetting the name of it. When they see us, thank you oh, guys yes, in the live course. chat. Thank yeah. you. When they see us, I was going to say. This Sorry, that was like two note. years ago. So I, I, uh, but but yeah, it was incredible. Yes. So when you, they want to be in. This is the thing. Walter Mata wants to be in business with the this caliber of storytellers. Mm -hmm. So it's, but I just think you still have to have the right stories to tell. Absolutely. And I was just never really completely on board. Like, don't get me wrong. If New Gods came out tomorrow in the theaters, I'd be there day one for sure. But. I've never really also been excited be, about these titles. It also may be about the timing of it. You know, there might be some development that's required in the DC universe to flesh out, you know, the interest of new gods before we have before the before the investment of a full film is made. You know, that's and I like the fact that they said if we choose to revisit it, Ava and James will be the first people with right of refusal on these properties. It's just now is not the right time for the properties. Yeah, I agree. So it's, I'm not going to lie. I'm not terribly disappointed about this news. There's other projects they have on the go that I am very excited about. I think they need to, you know, just focus their attention on the projects that they think can really work. And if these weren't them, then move on. Question is for you guys. What do you think about this move by DC to cut out the trench and new gods? Do you think there's a possibility they could come back and revisit them at some time in the future? How do you feel about it overall? Jump on down into the comment section below. And let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys.